Copy of a Siamese idol. searching for. Strange looking thing. I wonder where Marcus picked it up. can be dangerous, Mr. Uh, what was your name again? Smith. Tell me, did you find a lock to match my key? You bet I did. Take a look. What are you waiting for? Let's open it. Why not? It's an obvious fake. You may think so, Doctor, but I believe opening a new chapter in history. My word, India, a small metal bead. Jewelry, perhaps? I still think it's a fake. Then you won't mind if I take it. Really, Mr. Smith? Stand back, gentlemen. I hope you've got a getaway car waiting. You'll need one. Spikes. 
he got away. But we got his coat, Marcus. Hey, what's this? Klaus Kerner, huh? Good lord, Indy, the man's some sort of agent from the Third Reich. What is the spy one with the wounded statue? <sighs> I lied, Marcus. I don't think it's a phony. I can't place the style, but it's old. Look what else our friend was carrying. An old copy of National Archaeology. And there you are in Iceland. Yeah, field supervisor for the Jastro expedition. My first real job. Who's the woman? Sophia Hapke. She was my assistant. A spoiled rich kid from Boston, rebelling against her family. But where is she now? She gave up archaeology to become a psychic. How odd. You can say that again. Indy, Kerner found you. What if he finds her? We should warn the woman. You're right. I want to know more about that statue. You know, Marcus, the coldest year of my life was the one I spent in Iceland with Sophia. Today's paper. Hello there. The show sold out, sir. Now wait. No seats, no standing room, no exception. It won't go any further that way. The way looks blocked. The way looks blocked. I can't reach it. 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 It won't go any further that way. The way the way looks blocked. Wait! You must be the new doorman. About time they got rid of Biff. He was such a pushover. I want a reading with Miss Hapgood. Are you crazy? During the show? Write a letter. Excuse me. Take it easy and watch the show. Here, my friends, is Atlantis. As it might have appeared in its heyday. Glorious, prosperous, socially and technically advanced. Beyond our wildest dreams. 
5,000 years ago, while everyone else still wore animal skins, the mighty spirits of Atlantis dared to build a city where knowledge and power were united in true happiness. Centuries later, the famous philosopher Plato wrote about it. He placed Atlantis on a continent out in the deep ocean and described how it was divided into three circular parts, such as you see here. Isn't she something? She can go on for hours. Excuse me. Shh. She's just coming to the exciting part. What befell the serene city? We may never know for sure. Was it the sea level slowly creeping higher, or the earth itself suddenly shifting? However it happened, panic must have gripped the citizens. On that fateful day when proud Atlantis sank beneath the waves. Or, perhaps it was a volcanic eruption, and something remains even now. On some questions, the great spirit who guides my thoughts, the all-seeing Nurab Sal, is silent. I've been through this a hundred times. The woman never stops. Excuse me. Yeah, what now? I've got a newspaper here. So you do. Aren't you wondering about events of the day? I don't know. Maybe. How'd you like today's newspaper? Well, well, the late edition. I wonder if the Dodgers won. Watch the lights while I find out, okay? say it's about time. Oh no! Looks like Kerner got here first. Stay put. No one here. Nor here either. Dr. Uberman, fantastic view. We found the treasure we see. It's the second time Kerner slipped away. What does a Nazi spy want with old statues? Have you seen the newspaper? Listen to this. Germans claim victory in worldwide race to smash the Uranian atom. Chief scientist Dr. Hans Ubermann announced his plan to harness new sources of energy for the Third Reich. So?
practical results are years away. Of course they are. That's why they're looking for the power of Atlantis. Be serious. I used to think you'd make a good scientist. Yet you've been concealing important artifacts. Artifacts such as archaeology has never seen. Huh. You're lucky I don't have you arrested. So what if I kept a few pieces for myself? Look for a small coppery bead under those clippings in my desk. What do you know? Kerner missed the grand prize. What? My necklace. Watch closely. The bead is made of auric calcum, the mystery metal first mentioned by Plato. Now I'll place it in the medallion's mouth. Did you see that? Yeah, creepy. Is your electric bill paid up? That was Nurab Sal. His spirit is close. Closer than Atlantis, that's for sure. Suppose I gave this aura calcum business any credence, which I don't. We have no idea where to find your mythical lost city. Shh. I'm getting something. Narab Sal speaks. He bids us find the... What? A, a book, yes. The Lost Dialogue of Plato. Another fine myth. That book is a legendary hoax. What if the Nazis have already found a copy? You ever think of that? Hmm. You found this stuff in Iceland, right? Yes, near our old dig site. I thought so. Who's working there these days? Bjorn Heimdall, I believe. Maybe we should pay him a visit. What do you say? I thought you'd never ask. digging up Norse graves in Denmark. I was. Obviously, now I'm not. Not feeling very friendly today, are we? I like solitude. It helps me think. Doctor, what do you expect to find here? The secret of Hyperborea. That's what the Greeks called Iceland, you know. You've read how they sailed north to a fog-shrouded land, and how they never set foot upon it. Huh. After traveling thousands of miles, mere fog wouldn't turn them back. Some idiots claim they were retailed by ghosts. Papika, you know what actually stopped them, John? Maybe they didn't allot any time on their itinerary. No, no, no! They were stopped by a first field, put here by beings not of this earth. Mm, that's fascinating, Doctor. Have you ever heard of Plato's Lost Dialogue? 
guess there are rumors about such a book, but I've yet to see it. There are two people you might want to visit. Charles Sternhardt and Tikal, a shady fellow, who claims he translated the whole thing. And Philip Costa in the Aethos Island. As a researcher, he's a fart, but he's a sharp trader. What was that about the lost dialogue? Talk to Sternhardt and Costa. But why did these beings show up here? I am convinced that these travelers came to Earth to form colonies like Atlantis, using Hyperborea as a state part. Up north here, we're close to the ether. It's a perfect landing site. So you completely discount the supernatural? Completely! If it's supernatural, you want. Talk to Sternhardt and Costa. What is this thing you're working on? The bronze eel here? Oh, uh, it's a, probably a homing beacon for wayward spaceships. Soon I'll have it out of the ice. So what's the link between Hyperborea and Atlantis? Right, the Yastro expedition, the one you're about to work on. Recently I saw pieces from it, pieces that are clearly Atlantean. I see. Somebody must have been selling them. Go ahead, blame it all on me. So long. Good luck, fellow believer. Sophia. What's on your mind? I think the good doctor's got frostbite of the brain. I'll say spacemen my eye. <laughs>